Hey y'all, it's Shell. No, it's okay. <laughs> Hi y'all, it's Michelle from Sweets and So other name is Shell. And I have got me a package from K Cherie Soaps. Boom. It was here Friday. It wasn't home. Had to wait till today to get it from the post office. Pretty quick. She sent it, I believe, on Monday. Got it to me on Friday, but she's shipping from um, down south in the United States. So it took a little while which is understandable. She did send it through priority mail, which is real cool. She gave me a little note thanking me for ordering from her and her little card. And if you guys like her products, um, you guys can visit her um, online at etsy.com oh, no, <coughs> forward slash shop forward, forward slash K Cherie Soap. So you guys see that, right? Okay. And letting you know, on her nose, she lets you know that all her products are handmade and that you need to unwrap your soap so they can breathe and dry out and last longer. It's for y'all that didn't know that, okay? So we're going to do a little review of what I received. And I received, it seems like, a lot of goody goody goodies. Um, some samples. So I'm going to go over the samples first and get those out the way. Um, I think that's one too. And this one. How about that? Let me turn this down some. Um, I like I've looked at everything already. This is like the third time I've um, made this video. This is number three, okay? Three, one, two, three. Because I want to do it all in one. I don't want to do it in two, okay? I'm like, get it done, get it done. Okay, so let me shut up and get to the point. So First thing, we got a free sample of her uh, foaming bath salts, and I've seen her uh, show them as, on her video. So she also has a YouTube channel, you guys. So if you're interested, you check out her YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to put it in the down thingy, linky thing to her channel so you got and her a website down here um, so that you guys can go visit her and see some of her products that she makes. Um, and the things that she has to offer. So, foamy bath salts. I believe these, I'm not sure what scent they are. They, um, there's no name on them or fragrance, but they smell pretty good. Could be Mighty Gross. I don't know. But what I'm going to do, I don't take a bath, but my sister does. And guess what? I'm sending them over to her. And they're not heavily fragranced. So, my sister has eczema. So, uh, we'll try a little bit in the water and see how it works for her. <laughs> if not, I'll give it to my daughter. <laughs> but, um, it comes, and it, I love these bags. They, they have the self-adhesive on them. And I love how she put the directions and the foaming bath salts um, with the salts behind. I'm hope that If she does sell them this way, this is a great idea. Uh, easy packaging. Love it. Cool. Cool beans. Everything came wrapped in bubbly bubbly. So everything was wrapped in a bubbly bubbly that was a soap. So, so it wouldn't be damaged. Uh, the next thing is I have a piece of a bubble bar. It's blue and it is still pliable. So it's easy to break a little bit off and quibble it in the water. Um, let me see if I can get this open without I'm, I'm gonna get it open and you know get open without I'm gonna open that up and see what it smells like I like oh wow I don't know exactly what scent this is but I like that it smells florally and sweetie <laughs> I'm not sure it was no um, fragrance listed on here I like that so Sherry I told Judy if you're watching it's, it's Judy right because I could be just give you a new name huh yeah, so Judy, if you're watching, let me know what scent is. I like the bubble bar smell. I like that. And also the bath salts, because those didn't have a name on them. And this is Mardi Gras. And she did see, now she wrote the name on this one. And these are her sugar scrub cubes, which I think are really cute. We all know what sugar scrub cubes, right? You take one with you to the bathtub or two. You squish them either in your hand or on a washcloth or in a scrubby. Um, the, the scrubbies 
and then you just rub it into your skin to exfoliate your whole body. Now, I wouldn't recommend these using in your private areas. Not unless you want to exfoliate there, but <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but you use these um, on your knees, your elbows, um, on your heels or your feet, rough patches. Or if you're rough all over, just all over your body. You know, you might have a, a rough back. Have your man get in there and squish it and exfoliate your back. So these are in Mardi Gras. And those smell cute, and they come in different. She has them in different colors, which I think are very cute. I like that. And the, and the cool part is on hers, unlike mine, it gives you directions on how to use it. And I love these little bags. So you need to let me know, um, Judy, where you got these from, because I I love those. Okay, I think they're really really cool. And I like the how you put the little paper. The um, yeah, that to the to tell what it is and how to use it and what's in it. I like that. Love, love, love. That's cool. Um, she also sent me another free sample. And I believe these are her little... Um, she did these for a wedding or she was going to do them for a wedding. These, I believe, are in Mardi Gras too. I, I believe. I don't know. I could be lying to you guys. I don't know. It's not... It smells like something over here I already smelled. <coughs> it has gold mica on it um, with a little purple probably dollop or something very cute it's three in here these are great for displaying like um, my sister is going to display these in her bathroom really cute and I have a alien never smelt it I've seen it I think this is a dupe of a scent Okay, it could be one of these products over here too because that's what it smells. It smells very clean. Her soaps, again, are not a very strong, strong soap. So if you order for her, if you don't, if you want strong soap, well, then, you know, oh well. But very nice texture. I like it. They don't feel greasy. They don't feel sticky. I like that. That's the kind of soap I like. And if mine feel like that, y'all better tell me. Because mm, I don't like sticky soap okay again I love her little baggies that she has them wrapped in I guess I'm just not doing enough looking online to see and this one is um, wild raspberry this is also a sample very bright pink I still the texture is so nice it doesn't remind me of uh, raspberries it reminds me of, of like when I'm out in the field and I'm picking grapes. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Now, okay, so yes, I go to the field in California, down to Fowler, and we in Kingsburg, and we go pick grapes. Yes, it's fun. You get to pick however many grapes you want. You get to eat them while you're cutting. Very nice. Love, love, love going out to the fields and picking. That smells good too. And this one is Juicy Couture. Again, not a very strong scent, but very nice. It's very subtle. Okay. This one, Juicy Couture, it has, um, she did it with the cocoa line in there. You can see two lines with the uh, silver glitter on top. I don't know if you can see that. Bing, bing, bing. This Juicy Couture smells like soap. It smells like something I've smelled before. Maybe I smelled Juicy Couture, I don't know. But I have Juicy Couture, I just haven't made it yet, so very nice. Um, I also received a little teddy bear. He smells of my ex-husband's laundry. Uh, not the dirty stuff, the clean stuff, after he's taken it out of the dryer, okay? Don't be offended. I don't want you to get offended. I didn't mean it like that, okay? very clean scent it's fresh out the laundry I'm not sure what that is but that smells nice and my daughter is going to love this she likes teddy bears so that's going to work in her favor um, this one is Mardi Gras um, I have it I haven't soaked it yet it's a very clean scent um, I think I've had too much soap in my nose already because all the scents are starting to smell the same now <laughs> um, 
but I like it. It's I can smell some fruits in there. Oh no. Nice. And her thing is her soaps. I have big hands. Always my nephew calls me man hands. So if you can see that, I am at not even at the bottom of my hand. There it is. And I still have all that. So yeah. They're not huge, but they're probably like four ounces. Which are the normal size that soap used to be until we started having I don't know, I think everybody wants to get over on everybody, so everybody started going larger and larger and larger on cuts of soap. <laughs> But these are the natural, the normal sizes that a lot of people still sell on Etsy. And which is really nice. You guys, excuse me, I'm sorry. I have a runny nose. I don't know where it's running to, but it's running. Okay. And this one is another, a freebie cupcake. It's a cinnamon scent. I don't know. It's, I, I don't have the, it didn't have a name on it, but it came in a really cute bag. I like that. And it has a little cinnamon stick on there. And... The top doesn't have fragrance, I believe. I believe it's unscented, so it could stay the, the light color. Very nice, very nice. Okay, we're almost done. And now I'm gonna give you a wham bam, thank you ma'am on all the rest of my, what I got. So now on to what I purchased. I believe I purchased the Twilight Woods. I don't know, I could be wrong. I'm always wrong about something. But this one is nice. A very light scent of twilight wood it has the white um topping and the white glitter and she has a little castle on i think that's cute cute for a little girl nice 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 i also ordered pink grapefruit very grapefruity i can smell the citrusy of the grapefruit i don't like grapefruit but i thought i'd order it because i've never smelled it in a soap before so it's actually nice um so we're gonna give this a try can't wait to try that in the shower probably be cut into like three pieces very nice this one's angel angel is an old scent angel is something i smelled back when i was in like either elementary or junior high it's an old scent it smells very mature. I wouldn't put a kid in this. Okay, you just got some musk in there. Um, first time I smelled Angel though. Well, out the third time I smelled Angel. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It smells pretty. It smells good. So again, her soaps are not as huge, but they're fine. They're good. Keep coming back. That's how you want them. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. This one is blue sugar. I know what this smells like. This smells like when I was up and I was in the junior junior college and we took a trip with the Black Student Union up to, oh my God, it's up there near the Bay Area. And there was this fragrance that we bought in a bottle and I cannot remember, but this is the scent that they call it blue sugar. No, this was a different fragrance way back in the day. Yes, that's what it was. Oh, oh, ew, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, okay. That's the fragrance. I. Oh, my God. Where did we go? I can't remember, but I know we went up near the Bay Area. Berkeley is where we went, and I bought this expensive $100 coat because, you know, I had to have it. And then at that store, they had a perfume oil that smelled just like this, but it wasn't called blue sugar, it was called something else. Okay, I know. Like this, this smells everything. I gotta hurry up, I got like 30 seconds left. So, get to this one, last one. I love, this is um, key lime pie, and I smells like key lime pie. I used to make key lime pie. I love that smell. And this is Toxic Trance. Toxic Trance is an old scent again of something I remember from way back in the day when I spent a night over a girlfriend's house in elementary or junior high. It's an old scent. Even though they want to think it's new, it's old. It's an old scent. It smells good. So anyways, that's my haul from Case and Reef Soaps. Um, you guys go visit her. I'll put every information in the down link. Again, I got these all on um, sale. 
So peace and do.